Alright, hello guys. Today, I'm going to be bringing you some more severe weather outlooks. Uh, I'm going to try to do these daily, if not every other day. During the spring, or at least when we have some enhanced and moderate risks going on, I'm going to be trying to do these quite consistently. Now, today is April 12th. Uh, and it's a Friday, and we're going to be going over the next three days of severe weather or as far out as we can get these outlooks from the National Weather Service. Uh, but right now we're looking at today's categorical outlook, and we have the thunderstorm in the light green, marginal in the dark green, and then slight in the yellow. And then if you look on your bottom right-hand corner there, you can see there is an orange that says three, and that's enhanced uh, red, that's moderate, and that's number four, and then a purple or pink. Uh, that's that's a high risk and that's number five and we rarely see the highs sometimes we see moderates you know we see moderates probably a handful of times throughout a year uh, and then and then enhanced we see those pretty consistently this time of year uh, maybe once or twice a week uh, but nevertheless that is a pretty good chance of severe weather when we do see the enhanced risk but for today we did have a slight risk in Pennsylvania that risk is kind of fizzled out now that we're later in the day right now it's 4 40 p.m this video will likely be up by five and you'll likely be seeing this within the next you know three hours of that time frame so you'll be seeing it this evening but texas you're still at risk you have that slight risk and that means we're gonna have some scattered severe thunderstorms going on within that area marginal we sometimes see reports of severe weather so look out in central virginia uh just west of uh, I would say Richmond and then in the Raleigh-Durham area, as well as Louisiana, just north of uh, New Orleans, that area. We're going to be looking at, well, yeah, so just north of New Orleans and then south of Jackson. We're going to be looking at a marginal risk as well in north of Dallas. Uh, in Texas. So we have three different areas of marginal risk. And then there are general thunderstorm. We sometimes see a report of severe weather within these, but it's never expected. And we usually do not. But stay alert if there is a thunderstorm. Obviously, that looks bad where you're at. And we're going to move on to our individual kind of outlooks for the different severe weather probabilities here. First, we're going to look at our wind probability. You see there's a general 5% chance within these two brown regions. Again, Central, North Carolina, and Virginia, as well as a portion of Texas there. And we see within that brown section in Texas, there is a yellow section. And that's where we have a 15% chance. So look out for some severe thunderstorms to set up in this area with some gusty winds. Could do some tree damage or damage to your house as well. We're going to move on to our hail risk, and within that same area in Texas, we do have a hatched area, and this means this is an area of concern according to the National Weather Service, and we need to particularly pay attention to this area in the hatched black region there. This is, there's a significant chance of uh, damaging hail there. We do see two brown regions, one for the Louisiana and Mississippi area, and then throughout Texas, Arkansas, Oklahoma, and a little bit of Louisiana there. We have that other brown section, and then your 15% chance within that yellow. Again, the hatched region is where they expect significant chance of hail. Now, we see your tornado outlook here, and you can see that we have a two green sections, and this is 2% chance, so one for the central regions of North Carolina and extreme south central Virginia, as well as that region in Texas. Uh, we also have a brown section within that region in Texas, and that's a 5% chance, uh, so that's where we expect the highest risk of severe weather, if you couldn't tell already, with the hail, wind, and tornadoes. Now, we're going to move on to tomorrow. Tomorrow is going to be Saturday and that these outlooks last through the night into the morning hours of the next day so not just at 12 a.m. these end this lasts till the next day uh, the morning of the next day 12 Z you can see uh, so that's going to kind of be early early morning uh, there now we see our thunderstorm risk and this day is the biggest concern obviously we do have that moderate risk I'll get to that in just a second but we have our thunderstorm risk generally for the southeastern United States and mid-Atlantic regions of the United States as well as some of the south central United States being involved there we have two areas of marginal risk one for Virginia southeastern Virginia south central Virginia and northeastern North Carolina and central North Carolina uh, so we'll have another marginal risk for that region again tomorrow so it's not over today stay tuned uh, we will be having more severe weather on the way, possibly tomorrow. Again, marginal risks don't always bring severe weather, but there is a slight chance. Now, for the South Central and Gulf States, United States, we have a, a, a marginal risk that extends from Texas through Oklahoma, Arkansas, up into the Mississippi Valley, down back through Alabama. And then we have a slight region within that, that yellow region, that extends from some of Texas, Louisiana, Mississippi, Alabama, a little bit of Tennessee there in Arkansas. Then we have an enhanced risk within that, 
This is where we're getting a little bit more widespread with the severe weather, uh, a little bit more than scattered. So you can expect uh, some bad thunderstorms at least in the enhanced. If you're in that enhanced region, expect at least a bad thunderstorm. If not, uh, prepare for a pretty decent shot at at least wind or hail damage going on. Uh, within some of the cells within that and then in your moderate risk prepare now for severe thunderstorms because they're going to be widespread uh, within that red region the moderate region so northern Louisiana into Mississippi and southern Arkansas we're expecting widespread severe thunderstorms and you can expect this at this point there's more chance of you experiencing a really bad thunderstorm at this point than to not experience it so prepare now uh, for that to be going on during your day Saturday we're going to move on to day three here, and you can see there is an enhanced risk moving east from that same system uh, for Sunday, but it's not going to be quite as bad. It doesn't look like yet. We might see a moderate risk within that. We'll have to stay tuned. Sometimes these enhanced risks uh, at day three will end up being upgraded. Usually they lean towards upgrading later on rather than uh, downgrading, so they kind of stay conservative early on like this. We see a general thunderstorm risk for the entire east coast of the United States states except for extreme southern Florida and extreme northern uh, Maine there. We see a marginal risk from Florida up through into Pennsylvania, a lot of the central regions of the states up the coast, and then back down kind of just east of the Mississippi Valley through Mississippi, Tennessee, Kentucky, uh, Illinois, and Indiana, portions of Ohio and Pennsylvania as well. We see a slight region within that from Florida into Georgia, South Carolina, North Carolina, Virginia, West Virginia, Maryland, Pennsylvania, Ohio, Indiana, Kentucky, Tennessee, and as well as Alabama and portions of Mississippi there. We have an enhanced risk within that, and again, that's when we're kind of getting more into the uh, widespread types of severe thunderstorms instead of scattered but it will be scattered within that but there is a really good shot again that you see bad thunderstorms within that uh, not just thunder and lightning windy 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 hail in some areas so expect it to be very bad if you're in that enhanced risk that extends from Alabama up through into northern Georgia uh, portions of western South Carolina North Carolina Virginia West Virginia southern Ohio eastern Kentucky and Tennessee and portions of eastern Alabama as well anyway guys again I hope to make these videos pretty consistently for the severe weather I like making them and they're easy to make and I feel like they're very useful and could even save lives in some situations so I feel like it's really important that I make these anyway guys I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope to see you in the next one have a great day